networking is important uh, whether you are a student that is planning on being a freelancer and working independently or if you're going to be working for um, full-time for full-time employment as a student or a freelancer the importance is uh, of networking that's where your leads are going to come from those are where the opportunities are going to be generated that you need to find the new business and to find the people who will help you find new business it's important to make connections early on because you will be seeing these people again throughout your career um, at first it might seem like a large community, but in fact it's really small and you'll be able to get to know everyone fairly quickly. And you'll see these people again and again uh, throughout your career. Frankly, I know that most jobs that I've ever gotten were through a relationship. I knew somebody, I knew somebody there or there was a, you know, a friend that, that uh, you know, uh, shared, shared my name or, or my work with somebody else. Relationships are so, so important. And you never know if that person that you're talking to right now, maybe in a year from now or two years from now, uh, you may bump into them again and, and they may be the key to getting your next job. Well, for two reasons. Number one, that's where you're going to meet your peers and there are people that you will get to know that when you get into a bind and you don't understand how to get out of that bind, uh, uh, you know, be it something you're having to have printed or something that you're designing for the web, you suddenly have a group of people that you might be able to call upon rather than, you know, calling Adobe tech support at the last minute. But the other is, some of those people are the people that eventually you might work for. Um, and on the other hand, some of those people might be people that eventually will work for you. You can never start networking too soon. Um, you know, a lot of us need to get out there and build our so social um, network. Find out who the leaders in the industry are. You want to definitely connect with them. I mean, you want to find out if there's any kind of potential um, available job opportunities, and networking is definitely the way to go there. I think getting to know your colleagues, getting to know people who are doing similar things or better things in your industry is, is important. It, it sets the bar for you, it challenges you to do better work, it, it lets you know what's going on in the industry so you don't become stale. I just recently stepped off the AOJ board after 10 years. I feel like as a creative, it's very important to be part of and build the community around you um, to get to get to know the like-minded, to hang out with them. You know, you never know when an individual is going to have an opportunity for you. I think the one thing that I have the hardest time with in terms of my business and running my business is actually getting clients and getting out there to network because a lot of the time I'm stuck in a, like a little cocoon in my home office there and I spend so much time working on individual client projects that I don't remember that I need to go out and network because networking is how I get a lot of my work and if I don't have a you know a strong network of other designers to work with or other people to bounce ideas off of I you know, get less job referrals and I don't get critiques like I would while I was in school. You never know where your next job is going to come from. You never know when your next job may need to be there. The more you network, the more you develop that list, those leads, those people, uh, those contacts, the more comfortable you'll be regardless of the type of change either that you have to face uh, willingly or um, because it's a matter of circumstances and that's just the way life is. It's a small community and making yourself known always helps. You can practice the soft skills there, you can make connections for the future uh, position because um, you know a job isn't really forever so uh, I'd say you'll probably work with half the room at some time or another in this size market. We should not stop looking at the work of other designers, we should not stop looking at work being done in the advertising industry and keep searching for the new inspirations and um, techniques, tactics, um, ways of telling stories, new technologies that we can use. All of that comes from that kind of networking and, and attending events. It might behoove you to join other organizations besides just art organizations. I worked for two fellows years ago that when they started their agency, the first thing they did was join the Rotary Club and you know all these various other organizations around town uh, that had nothing to do with advertising but they met other business people there 
and they became associated with them and they basically built up a huge network of you know what we used to refer to as the good old boys um, that that's where they got their work from the same people that they rub shoulders with at some function were the same guys that later on were their clients you know with AIGA locally um, there's a lot of free opportunities to meet and greet and get to know and plus you get to definitely hone your skills you know learn how to get out there and talk to people and share your passion for the industry speak little ask a lot of questions and try to draw out the person you're speaking with in terms of what their business is, what their business needs are, and find ways, certain questions, key questions, that will get them to talk about areas where you might be able to contribute so that it gives you the opportunity to say, well, that's interesting, you handle it this way. If I were working with your company, I would have done this approach or I would have done the same approach, but I would have taken a different spin to it. Gives you a point of interest and a discussion. It also is a good way for them to get to know what you're about, how you think, how you would respond in a work environment for those types of things. And always, always get a business card if you can do so, and always follow up with a thank you email, uh, preferably text secondarily, but that would be the way to go.